So you have Kunain inside, and you surround her with excellent shooters. Yeah, makes it tough to double, doesn't it? I would think is a defense in North Carolina, knocking down a three on this end. So they're trying to push that pace. Great pass by Stephanie Watts initially. The extra pass from Holashinsky. They let Kunain get good position, and really it was Bailey. Let Kunain get good position with five seconds to go in the shot clock. If you're going to guard that hard for 25 seconds, you can't let Kunain get good position. Those last two opportunities for Poole, she has missed inside. Those should have been shots for Janelle Bailey. That's why those two fouls are so important. Over NC State, though, a one-point lead. They're very much on the bubble. It feels like they've been on the bubble this entire season. They've had some tough losses, but beating NC State as Janelle Bailey takes it to, to the glass and scores, and it would help them. It would go a long way for them making the NCAA tournament. Janelle Bailey, okay, they have five players that average double figures. That is incredibly rare. And so we know that basically any player can go off for NC State at any given moment. And that balance really showed in the third quarter. Watts, 20 points in a win at NC State in 2019. Stephanie Watts did a great job of drawing Kayla Jones for just enough time. Types of plays you remember. But that time, she cheats left Bailey open, and Janelle Bailey didn't make her pay. Watts, open for three, nails it. NC State, fourth-ranked Wolfpack, knew they were going to get a battle coming here to Chapel Hill. And they do get two there from Jones. They're not going to overcome this deficit, and North Carolina is going to knock off number four NC State and snap that three-game losing streak in grand fashion.